Hi guys! Welcome back to my mundo. My name is Raymond. And for this video, I'll be sharing with you the drawing process of a Bel Mariano artwork which I made weeks ago. As I have mentioned in my very first vlog, I am creative and I do a lot of portraits and additional art. However, this YouTube channel won't be an art exclusive one. However, for this second video, I'll be sharing with you an art process. So I won't be doing tutorials, but I'll be sharing with you my processes in creating my art. So I'll be sharing with you some of my sketches, some of my paintings, maybe some of my digital art, and other stuff. With that, let's begin! So I already started with the basic sketch of my drawing, so I usually get a nice photo that has clear features as my reference. Then I start with my blacks. I start drawing in the eyes and the nostrils and the darkest parts of my sketches. I personally prefer coloring the darkest parts first, then slowly blending everything in. You know, blending the lighter shades and then the highlights until my figure looks somehow realistic. I believe that it's more practical and it's cleaner rather than coloring over a light shade and having the need to adjust anything. So when you start with the darkest shade and you just color over it and blend things, they look more natural and they don't really leave dark stains compared to when you draw over a light shade. I often get asked if it's important to really copy your reference photo. I personally don't think that you have to copy your reference photo. As an artist, you should have a say and a take on the particular work that you're working on. One thing that you can do is to really research and try to find out which styles work for you. You can check on Pinterest, you can check on Instagram, you can check on DeviantArt, or even Patreon. There are a lot of artists who have their works uploaded in those social media platforms and you can check on them. And you can try to find which style appeals to you the most and you can add in your personal touch and create a style of your own. For me, I personally prefer drawing realistic kind of sketches because I really love people in general. So I love taking photos of people and I love drawing people. Just a pro tip, for the lips, I don't really use just a single shade or a single tone. Um, for the lips, I actually use a combination of colors. So I go from browns to reds to pinks to oranges depending on what my subject looks like or how their lips look like. Uh, at this point, I've already colored in the face and I'm working on the hair. But just a side note, I really hate drawing hair, especially if the hair on my reference photo is pitch black. So I had to find ways on how to draw hair in a completely different way, but with a nice approach to it so that it would still look realistic. Just a trivia, last year an actor commissioned me to draw something for him. He had specific instructions on the hair and it uh, put a huge pressure on me. First of all, because it was an actor who I was doing work for. Second, because I really hate drawing hair. However, um, I really gave time to the drawing. I usually finish my sketches like in hours. But for that particular work, I really had to pay attention to details because there were lots of details in the reference photos. 
And I'm glad that it came out really well and that the actor loved it. So you would see that on my Instagram account. So please do check on it. It's on the screen right now. So before, I would usually leave my highlights uncolored or untouched. So I would leave them white, especially with the glare in the eyes or the highlights on the nose, on the cheeks, and some streaks on the hair. However, I recently discovered a pen that I am now using for my highlights. It's not really a fine tip pen, so I would recommend you guys to use fine tip white pens for your highlights, such as the streaks in the hair and areas in your face where the light strikes the most. So fast forward to the finished artwork of Belle Mariana. So here's my finished artwork. I hope you guys got something from my process video. This wasn't really the whole thing yet, but I promise to give you more of these in the future when I'm able to set up my working area. So aside from Bell, I also made a portrait sketch of Donnie Pangilinan, who plays Dayblor on the hit series He's Into Her that you may watch on I Want TV. These portraits of Bell and Donnie are two of my most liked works on Instagram and have been shared 778 times on Twitter and liked by 2.1 thousand Twitter users. So guys, thank you so much to my Don Bells, to my Tagsens, to my He's Into Her fans who appreciate my work and I promise more Tagsen and Don Bell fan art soon for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. So I hope you enjoyed that one. I'll be sharing more of my art processes soon and I'll be trying on some art challenges in the near future. So for the meantime, I'm inviting you to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click on the notification bell to get more updates from me. See you in the next one. Bye!